what is nbns nbns stands for net bios naming system example windows 2k access resources using dns naming conventions what is forward lookup resolving host names to ip addresses is known as forward lookup what is reverse lookup it is a file which contains host names to ip mapping information what is a resource record it is a record which provides the information about the resources available in the network infrastructure what are the different dns roles the different dns roles are standard primary standard secondary and ad integrated what is a zone zone is a subtree of dns database what is primary secondary stub and ad integrated zone primary zone the zone which is saved as normal text file with file name dot dns in dbs folder maintains read write copy of zone database secondary zone it maintains a read only copy of zone database on another dns server provides fault tolerance and load balancing by acting as backup server to primary server stub zone it contains a copy of name server and soa records used for reducing the dns search orders provides fault tolerance and load balancing what does a zone consist of and why do we require a zone zone consist of resource records and we require zone for representing sites what is caching only server when we install 2000 and 2003 server it is configured as caching only server where it maintains the frequently accessed sites information and again when we access the same site for the next time it is obtained from cached information instead of going to the actual site what is forwarder when one dns server can't receive the query it can be forwarded to another dns once configured as forwarder what is secondary dns server it is a backup for primary dns where it maintains a read only copy of dns database how to enable dynamic updates in dns start then go to program then go to admin tools then go to dns and then zone properties what are the properties of dns server the properties of dns server are interfaces forwarders advance routings security monitoring logging debug logging what are the properties of a zone properties of a zone are general soa name server wins security and zone transfer what is scavenging finding and deleting unwanted records is called scavenging what are srv records srv are the service records there are six service records they are useful for locating the services what are the types of srv records ms dcs contains dcs information tcp contains global catalog kerberos and ldpa information udp contains site information sites contains 
Sites information domain DNS zone contains domains DNS specific information forest DNS zone contains forest specific information where does a host file reside under C directory Windows system 32 drivers etc what is SOA SOA stands for start of authority which is useful when a zone starts it provides the zone startup information what is a query a request made by a DNS client to provide the name server information what are the different types of queries the different types of queries are recursion and iteration what are the tools for troubleshooting DNS the tools for troubleshooting DNS are DNS console NS lookup DNS CMD IP config logs PM how do we clear the DNS cache on the client machine click start click on run enter ipconfig slash flush DNS in the open text box how DNS works name resolutions the client passes a forward lookup query for www.microsoft.com to its local name server the local name server checks its zone database file to determine whether it contains the name to IP address mapping for client query the local name server does not have authority for the microsoft.com domain so it passes the query to one of the DNS root servers requesting resolution of the hostname the root name server sends back a referral to com name server the local name server sends a request to a com name server which responds with a referral to the Microsoft name server the local name server sends a request to the Microsoft name server because the Microsoft name server has the authority for that portion of the domain name space when it receives the request it turns the IP address for www.microsoft.com to the local name server the local name server sends IP address for www.microsoft.com to the client the name resolution is complete and the client can access www.microsoft.com what is the port number of DNS the port number of DNS is 53 what is DHCP DHCP stands for dynamic host configuration protocol it is a network application protocol used by devices DHCP clients to obtain configuration information for operation in an internet protocol network this protocol reduces system administration workload allowing devices to be added to the network with little or no manual intervention describe how the DHCP lease is obtained it's a four-step process consisting of IP request IP offer IP selection and acknowledgement what is DHCP's purpose DHCP's purpose is to enable individual computers on an IP network to extract their configurations from a server the DHCP server or servers in particular servers that have no exact information about the individual computers until they request the information the overall purpose of this is to reduce the work necessary to administrator a large IP network the most significant piece of information distributed in this manner is the IP address we have installed a Windows based 
DHCP server. However, the users do not seem to getting DHCP leases of it. The server must be authorized first with the Active Directory. What is a DHCP lease? A DHCP lease is the amount of time that the DHCP server grants to the DHCP client permission to use a particular IP address. A typical server allows its administrator to set the lease time. What is a client ID? It is a termed the client ID for the purposes of the DHCP protocol is whatever is used by the protocol to identify the client computer. By default, DHCP implementations typically employ the client's MAC address for this purpose. But the DHCP protocol allows other options. Some DHCP implementations have a setup option to specify the client ID you want. One alternative to the MAC address is simply a character string of your choice. In any case, in order for DHCP to function, you must be certain that no other client is using the client ID you choose. And you must be sure the DHCP server will accept it. Can DHCP support statically defined addresses? Yes, at least there is nothing in the protocol to preclude this and one expects it to be a feature of any DHCP server. This is really a server matter and the client should work either way. The RFC refers to this as manual allocation.